Hi, I'm Zach. I'm MP. This is Sydney. This is Jasper. And together we're Van Life Wonder. We have a 159 extended ProMaster. We built this van not only for adventures, but to live on the road full time. Zach and I are both living in the van full time. We've moved in in September, so it's now been eight months that we are living inside this small space with two dogs. Today, we're gonna to give you a brief overview of the inside of our van to give you an idea of what the layout is and how we built it. Welcome inside. So first, we have here a reading corner or lounging space, which connects to our dining area. We have a really big table because we both work remote, which means we often both work from the van. So we wanted to make sure we can both sit in front of each other with our computers and all our stuff open without feeling like we are on top of each other. We still kind of feel like we're on top of each other, but it works for sure. What's great with this table is that we have a lagoon table leg, which means it can be um, rotated. So we can turn this table around and if only one of us is, is working, we can have a bit of a bigger workspace if we sit over here. Um, this also, this table turns, can be lowered and be turned into a third bed um, or a, for a third person to be traveling with us and, or a giant couch. So when we designed the kitchen in our van, we wanted it to feel like a home. We made sure we added a two burner cooktop to really allow us to cook nice meals. And we also added a spice rack and a space to put our fruits and vegetables. We made sure that we had running water and hot water on demand. We also made sure that we had a big open space for cooking and prep space. I make a bit of a mess sometimes and having the big open space really helps um, make it look less messy. What we did here is we do have a utensil drawer. We put baby locks on it to make sure it doesn't fly open. It's a little magnet. And we have all of our stuff stored in here and easy access to, to cook or just to make snacks. We also decided that we wanted to do a fridge that opened like a normal fridge you would see in a house with a big door. Some people like the chest fridges. We really were enjoying having a fridge that you can just open and see everything and not have things go bad. We store our gray water under the sink in a 10, 10 gallon tank, as well as we keep, this is where we keep our garbage and recycling. And we added a drawer system. So our upper cabinets is where we store a lot of our dry food, it's oils, pastas, sauces, things that we use a lot. We like to make sure that it's nice and easy to hand. And we added these little bars to keep things from flying out the shelves when we were on rough roads. We also added magnet closures, which really seemed to work really well for us. To help with ventilation, we have three windows in the van that all open, and we have one fantastic fan on the roof. This is a three-speed fan, which is a little annoying. We wish we went for the 10-speed, but it does provide lots of airflow and really keeps us cool in the summer and sucks out all the smells of cooking. For the bed, we were able to use a full-size double. We didn't have to cut it or anything. We actually, in a ProMaster, one of the biggest advantages of a ProMaster is to be able to sleep sideways because it's about six foot wide. So if you're around six foot or below six foot, you can actually sleep sideways. Basically, if you fit on a double bed, you fit in a ProMaster. Um, so we sleep for our heads over here and our feet down here. Um, we have one bunk window on this side below a cabinet. And these two cabinets actually hold our clothes. So we each have one. I have this one over here. Zach has this one. We organize our clothes differently, but we have the same capacity. So we try to make sure it works. Um, yeah, we basically added some organizers from Ikea to um, help separate different kinds of clothes. We've added a reading light over on the side. Um, it, it's really useful for if we wanna 
read books late at night or just before we go to bed and you don't want to turn on all the lights of the whole the whole van i also added a shelf on the door because i found there was nowhere to really put things when we were going to bed because you have to like crawl back over or get to the sink or get to the table so this this shelf is actually pretty useful as well as this little basket um yeah we also have on their back window we have a easy kind of blind <clears throat> system it's the only place where we actually put permanent blind because we found those ones are kind of the ones that gave us the more like intrusive there or did we lose the most privacy if we have these ones so all our other windows we use winter coverings so we only put them on before we go to bed um, or if it's really cold outside to to help with insulation in terms of storage we actually have a lot of different places we can put stuff um, we have one big storage which we use a lot here um, it's actually where we keep a lot of the dog food and a, a lot of overflow extra oat milk extra cereal snacks all or all kinds of things um, we also have just beside it we have what we first called our wine cellar and now it's kind of again food storage we keep some milk uh, more accessible milk, I guess. We have some coffee in here, uh, just pasta, general things. Um, and then this cabinet door is actually where we keep our pots. Uh, we keep the espresso machine and all kinds of appliances in general, kitchen stuff, but no food actually goes in here. Um, moving over on this side of the van, we um, here is where we store some of our Tupperware and general, general other random things. Over here is, all, is where we put all of our dishes. Um, so bowls, plates, mugs, uh, mixing bowls. This is where they live. Um, we built an open shelf over here so we can have books. And this last um, cupboard here is actually we, where we keep our toiletries. So I have one, Zach has one. And here we have some like medical stuff, um, electronics, just gener general things are organized uh, with these IKEA storage containers. We also added another open shelf in the, over in this area. Um, we have some, most of our cables live over here. We also have a Re Reboost antenna um, that is already plugged in. There's also a place here with a USB so we can leave stuff charging overnight or while we're driving up on the shelf. Um, and below our lounging seat, um, we have built-in drawers. So this is a bit of a miscellaneous drawer. Everything that we don't know where to go kind of goes here. Uh, and below, we keep most of our camera gear. And during a semester or school time, I actually use that as my school drawer, my locker. Um, also below, because the drawer don't go all the way in, um, we actually have a, a little secret storage. Um, we don't uh, access this often, but this is right now where we keep all of our board games and some overflow books. Um, it's kind of handy because it doesn't feel like it's in the way, but it's there. Um, so we used to keep our board games on the shelf and uh, that did not work. Let's just say it that way. <laughs> there was a lot of cards flying around. Um, and then on this side, we have more storage. Um, this is storage that's kind of more seasonal or we put some like blankets or things we're not sure yet if we want to keep in the van or not, they kind of live there. So moving on this side of the van for storage, so all ProMasters have a headliner already built in. Um, we added our own birch accent over on the facing to be able to put hooks. Um, we find these hooks really handy, especially in the winter with jackets or for trying to dry things off after skiing or after a wet mountain biking day. Um, so this is pretty handy. We keep blankets, towels, overflow jackets, um, sweaters. They kind of live all up here. Um, and then one other thing that probably makes a little bit of our build more unique or more different is first, we kept the three-seater. Not a lot of people do. We thought about doing two swivel seats and have a, a pathway in between, but it was actually going to be pretty expensive and with the pandemic to be able to get all the parts to make that happen was going to be really challenging so we decided to embrace the fact that we had a three-seater and build a bench and build a step so we basically turned this into the l couch as mentioned earlier um, and we remove our toilet into here so our toilet is also on a baby lock um, so our toilet is in here and also this extra storage 
that was added in this in this bench. So we put a lot of our shoes there, a lot of sometimes dirty laundry end up there, or dog toys, things we want easy access to, but I kind of like kind of awkward to store permanently in a van. So this is kind of the benefit of having this um, little little bench thing. And then over the door, we've also added some extra cabinet. Um, this was something that is hard to finish in a ProMaster, that, that little section above the door. And we could have just put a, a piece of wood, but we decided why not build more storage because it doesn't actually take that much space. So we actually have small space in these two cabinets. Um, it's more where we keep like some spare batteries, some like poopy bags or dog or first aid kit, but just general things that um, are kind of, we want to know where th the smaller things are. That's where we put them. We designed the van largely around the fact that we mountain bike and we ski. So when we built the van, we added a mountain bike drawer and made sure our bed was high enough to keep all of our equipment and our gear nice and handy in the van. We added one drawer that stores two mountain bikes, as well as a couple shelves that lets us put all of our gear and put some deep storage for the stuff we don't access all the time. The back of our van is not only our toy storage, it also stores our two water tanks. Each one is 25 gallons, so we have 190 liters of water that we can use at any point. We also have our propane storage, as well as our utility bucket, is what we're going to call it. That stores our, our diesel tank for our heater, as well as some charging cables for shore power and just miscellaneous crap, to be completely honest. We added a piece of live edge that goes and kind of helps finish off the back of the van. And we added some hooks, so when we're getting ready, we can put our helmets and our backpacks and whatnot on here, just to help keep it nice and organized. So we didn't just build out the inside of the van, we built out the outside of the van as well. We added a custom-built big safari rack on the top that helps hold our Fiamma awning and our roof box, as well as our solar panels. To get up on top of the roof, which we have to do a lot with the ski box and to clean our solar, we built an aluminum ladder that's permanently connected to the side of the van. We did at one point have a collapsible one, but we found out that we were never actually using our roof box as real storage and we were just throwing junk up there and I'm just rambling, but that's fine. Oh. Thank you so much for <laughs> watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We are looking forward to share more of this journey with you as well as things we learn and what we learned while we were building it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>